<laughs> I know this is kind of scary. But, you know, I, um, just because I'm camping doesn't mean I want to, um, neglect my skin. And the really cool thing is that a year ago, just about a year ago, Gail from Random Life Productions came from the UK. We had never met each other. And she came over to, uh, to, to visit the States and we were chatting back and forth. And some of you know, this is how Gail and I really got to, I have no idea why or how I started to watch her her channel, but I think it was because, um, oh, I look really scary. I think it was because she probably did a lot of vlogs about England and that's a fascinating topic to me, the castles and all that stuff. Anyway, she mentioned she was coming to the States. Long story short that most of you already know about, don't mind the mess behind me. Um, she mentioned that she was coming to the States and I said, well, you know, let's get together. And our let's get together morphed into really let's get together. We ended up chatting on the phone. I felt really comfortable with her. Yes, she was a total stranger, but I felt really comfortable with her. And I invited her to stay in our motorhome if she wanted to, to be in my area, which she jumped on that opportunity. So anyways, why I'm thinking of Gail today is I'm doing this face mask. And this face mask is actually a face mask that Gail brought from England that she left here. She left like a bunch of masks in my motorhome. And I packed them up. And I think what I did is when I packed them up, I put them in my camp box. And that's where they sat all year in my camping supply box. So when we opened up the motorhome again this year, I brought that box out here and I started to pack stuff up. And this mask, all the masks, uh, were one of them. And this is a hydrating Braiding avocado sheet mask. Oh, it's dripping. And so, hey, Gail, I'm thinking of you while I'm camping. So I'm using this mask today. And, oh, yeah, it just feels heavenly. Heavenly. I am, like, really enjoying it. So today, I think, is our last full day of camping at the beach. It's Sunday, guys. We're going to bring the motor home home tomorrow morning. I got up really, I didn't get up early. I got up early-ish, and I walked down to the beach, and I'm going to insert this, that clip right now. It's about 6 o'clock, and it looks like it's going to be cloudy. They did predict rain. So I'm going to put my shoes on. walk along the water. I overslept. I decided to increase the speed of the video and mute the natural sound as the wind was pretty bad and you really couldn't even hear me at times. So I'm walking down along the outer edge. This is the river side of the campground. And this is a walkway that all the campers can enjoy. So even if you have a waterfront site like we do, people can walk across it and it's just part of the amenity of the park. I absolutely love camping here. And as I walk closer to this opening, which you can see coming up here, nice little memorial bench. I'm going to swing the camera around and show you the campground a little bit. So you can kind of get a perspective from here. It's actually pretty small. And straight over there is the state park part of the campground. In season, the state park, even though it's not a campground over there, it's a public beach, a state beach, is extremely popular and extremely crowded in season. But most of the campers come down to this end of the beach. This is known as the jetty area. And it's just a pretty pretty stretch. Hampton Beach is actually a very popular, very beautiful beach in the state of New Hampshire. We've been coming here for years and really super enjoy it.
can't tell you how many times I've come down here in season, even when we can't get inside the campground, we will camp here and we'll camp in the overflow parking lot. That's what we call dry camping. When there's no hookups, Jay got up super, super early and went golfing. <laughs> oh, he's a fanatic. He bought these new golf shoes online. He got a great, great deal for them. And I'll tell you, I'm not into golfing, but those golf shoes are really nice that he bought. And he was so worried about it. He was worried about the size. He was worried about the fit, the comfort. And I'm so happy because he did get a great buy. They were like, I don't know, I think they were like uh, maybe $170, $180 for the golf shoes. And I think he got them for like half that, 70-something, 80-something. So anyways, he got them. And they fit like a glove. And they are so comfortable, he said. So he is like super, super, super excited about his golf shoes. And on the way back, I walked into the wind. So I decided to do a voiceover instead because the wind was just so loud. So I'm walking down the center of the campground. You can see there are two rows. We're on the water side, and when I walked down to the beach, I walked along that side. I thought I'd do and bring you this way on the way back to the camper. So you can see this campground is pretty small. I was wrong. There's about 29 spaces, and you do have to book well in advance in season. We were lucky we came on Tuesday because first come, first serve. We were able to get spot number nine. And it was actually a pretty good spot. Typically, when we're here off-season, we end up having to be on the overflow, which is just basically in the parking lot on the other side. It's a lot cheaper to stay there, but there are certainly no hookups or anything like that. So you're dependent upon your generator for power and things of that nature. But it's still close to the beach. I think when we're in overflow, it might take me five minutes to get down there. Whereas opposed to where we are now, it took me a little over three minutes to walk down. Wait till you see the camper that's directly across from us. It's a converted bus. Coolest thing. So they converted this bus. They turned it into a camper. And I don't know. I just thought it was really, really amazing. And there's my rig. It is a rig. It's a big one. And I think there's a certain amount of freedom in that little converted bus there. I think that's pretty cool. Now I'm heading back inside. Hope you enjoy my little beach walk this morning. Oh, and I love my plate. That means working hard. <laughs> So you can see from the clip, we really are very, very close to the ocean from this campsite. And you can see when I walked back, the other, the, you know, the sort of the center aisle, you can see a little bit of a different view. But um, sad to say, we probably won't get back inside the campground this season because all these sites are booked up super fast um, and well ahead of time. So we'll probably be camping in the overflow next time we come back to the beach. But, hey, that's life. And... Um, yeah, so we're heading home tomorrow. I've got a busy work week, as usual. So does Jay. We could have kept the motorhome here and continued all next week, coming back and forth to the beach. But it just um, it just doesn't make any sense, you know, because you do have to pay, even though it's off-season. You do have to, um, you know, to pay to... Um, just checking my hopper out. <laughs> you do have to pay to stay here, so... Uh, this is awesome. The only thing is when you when you come here off season like this, it's first come first serve. And I am, I don't know yet what I'm going to do. Uh, you know, I've been following the keto program. I really, really like keto. I really like my low carb lifestyle. But I fell off the keto bandwagon and I cannot get back on. I cannot get back dedicated, motivated keto. So, um... I'm going to look into something else. You know, I have a stand-up desk at work. In case you haven't seen it, I'll insert the picture in here. I absolutely love my stand-up desk. So when I'm at work and I'm office-bound, I am actually standing most of the day. And then I go for long walks. Um, but still, 
it isn't helping. And I really want to, I really want to ditch the, the weight I've gained. And I really just want to focus and get back into the rah, rah, exercise mode. So, sorry to be so rambling on this vlog, but that's my Sunday. Maybe I'll show you a little bit of what I look like after I take the mask off and I have my eyes on. Because <laughs> you're not going to see me without mascara. Bye, guys. Oh, here comes the rain. I know you probably can't see it, but uh, my window is covered with rain and the people next door to us packing up. Most people do leave on a Sunday. And if it really gets bad, maybe Jay and I will leave this afternoon when he gets back from golfing rather than waiting until Monday morning to, to haul our butts home. So I just wanted to kind of show you, because um, I told you I'd show you what my skin looked like after I took my mask off. So when we're camping, I kind of like really, I mean, it's more of a low key type of thing, really. Uh, I don't usually put on a ton of makeup. I always wear my sunblock, which why it drove me crazy that I had forgotten it uh, in my vlog that I posted last week. But um, I always wear my sunblock. Sometimes I put a little bit of foundation in it to mix it in. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of a blush. But all the time it's mascara, eyeliner, eyebrow pencil, and a little bit of a lipstick and sunblock. The rest of it, you know, I don't, I don't really worry about because it's low key. Unless I'm heading out, we're going out to dinner or we're going to the, you know, to work or something. I, I don't futz around a lot. So, but that mask was really, really nice. And um, yeah, and it worked out really well on my skin. Jay just texted me. He's on his way back from his golf game and it has started to rain. So we'll make a decision what we're going to do because it's raining out like crazy and that stinks. But um one of the things that we've been discussing is, you know, we have a we have a trip planned to Canada coming up. We haven't finalized any of our plans, but we pretty well know what we want. So one of the things that I've been trying to do is kind of map out a little bit of where we're going to go and our time frame and all that. And then I've been thinking about what I'm going to pack. So these face masks, thanks to Gail, kind of reminded me how easy it is because I've had that in my camp box, but I hadn't really, it doesn't take up much room. So, uh, but how easy it is to pack the essentials you really need, because whenever you go away, I discovered that in Texas, I, you know, discovered whenever you're off your routine, your skin kind of like reacts differently. And even though I'm camping, I'm still using my Retin-A, I'm still using my skincare treatment, but I'm thinking now, what am I gonna bring with me to Canada? Because here's the general gist of what we're gonna do. And poor Jay doesn't know all of it yet, but we're not taking the motorhome, so we're going to have very limited space. We're going to be in the car, and we are probably going to drive either take the ferry over to Nova Scotia from either Portland, Maine, or St. John's, um, I think that's in New Brunswick, Canada, and head over, or we're going to drive the car all the way over. The reason we're not taking the motorhome is because a number one, the the fuel is going to be very very costly, and we want to go in places in Canada that a big forty foot motorhome is just not going to work or fit for us. So we're just going to rough it in the car. I plan on, and I kind of mentioned this to Jay a little bit. I plan on checking out one of our tents that we have. When when Jay and I started camping eons ago, we were tent campers. That's how we started. And we bought this amazing two-person tent. It was a tent for all extreme weather conditions. It was designed to hold up in high winds and rain and, you know, sub-zero degree temperature. The reason we bought that tent is because we're avid kayakers and we wanted a tent that would hold up to the extreme weather when we paddled to little islands and popped our tent up. So, um, yeah, we were crazy. We must have thought we were Robinson Crusoe or something silly like that. Anyways, we spent a lot of money for the tent and we used it just a little bit. One time that we used it is we flew to Florida. We packed the tent. We packed our sleeping bags, our little air mattresses and other essentials that you could bring on plane. And we flew to Florida. We rented a car. We went to a grocery store, bought a cooler, bought those little propane tanks, the little tiny ones. And then we bought food. And we drove to the Florida Keys and we actually pitched our tent on the beach all along the Florida Keys. It was like the most fun, fun vacation. That had to have been maybe 
15 years ago or something. So we were pretty old when we did it, <laughs> but we loved it. So I want to do something very similar when we go to Canada. He's not fully on board yet. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is we're going to check out the tent when we get home, make sure it's still okay. And, um, and then we'll have, we'll stay in a couple of, you know, Airbnbs. We'll stay in some, some places like that along the trip. But I think it'd be kind of cool to pitch the tent in a few spots and rough it. But so I'm really, really, I don't even know why I'm talking about that now. Probably because I'm in the motorhome. And I did a face mask and I was starting to think, what can I pack cosmetics wise, skincare wise, that I will have room for, you know, in the motorhome, this is a 40 foot rig. I can, pr I can bring a lot of stuff when it comes to cosmetics and skincare, even though half of what I bring makeup, I don't use when I'm camping, but when I'm in the car, I'm going to have very, very limited space. And it just got me to thinking about staying on my routine, what I can pack and actually got me very, very excited about the thought of doing the tent camping again. So, so we'll see. So when Jake gets back to the motorhome, we may go out, who knows, it's raining, kind of blah, but uh, most likely we'll be planning a little bit. We'll talk more about our Canada trip. New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, the Cabot Trail, would love to, both of us would love to go to, um, is it Newfoundland? Newfoundland, Newfoundland. I gotta say it right. Uh, and there is a ferry you can take over there from Nova Scotia, but it, it's like really long. There's two ferries actually. One is like something like seven or eight hours and the other is like 18 hours or something. Um, so I don't think it's gonna work out this trip because we don't have that much time, but I'm really excited. It'll be the first time we have gone on a trip like that without the motorhome. Um, Texas was different because when we went to Texas, we went for a convention. And so that was like a completely different thing. And um, when we next year, when we go to Las Vegas for the convention, and then we're going to fly to, if all goes well, we're going to do a vacation in Hawaii. I'm actually thinking of maybe doing the same thing like we did when we went to Florida. I, I don't know. I'd have to look and see. I don't even know if there's campgrounds in Hawaii. But yeah, so I'm rambling, guys. I, um, sorry. Well, I packed up everything I had to pack up. <clears throat> and I'm leaving Jay behind. He's going to pull out with the motorhome. We got the slide in. We've got, I've got all my kitchen stuff, everything away. And then um, Jay's going to call AAA and he's going to get a trip tick because our Canada plans might be twisting a little bit. And, um, and then we are going to plan that trip full force. So I'm heading to the office. He, I'll meet him. I probably won't meet him. I probably won't see him until about 10 o'clock tonight because that's how long we're both working or he is working tonight. So that's the scoop. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I think I'm going to end the vlog here because it's already at 20 minutes and I I don't want to bore you all to death. And since I'm heading home from the beach, the rest of the week will probably be a little bit on the low-key work, work, work. No fun, fun, fun. Oh, I um, yesterday was raining here at the beach, and Jay said, "Oh, you want to take a ride up the coast?" I said, "Yeah, but it's raining out." He goes, "That's all right." So we took a we took a ride up the coast. We ended up in Maine. We ended up at the outlets and um, Bath Shoe Outlet or Bath Outlet or whatever it is. They have like really super super comfortable shoes, and Jay likes to buy his shoes there. So uh, we went in there, and they had buy one get another pair free, or you could get forty percent off one pair. So. I, um, you know, I bought four pairs of shoes, sandals. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> I really hated pulling out and leaving the rig behind, but we had a great couple of days and ah, so sad to leave. But work calls, guys. Thanks so much for watching.